Okay. Here we go again. Here we go again. Another, um, some more information about Virginia Scratchers. Um, again, Inform to Transform. This is for uh, me just telling you a little bit about some Virginia Scratchers. I got into doing scratch tickets. Something that I wouldn't have generally owned or did on a regular basis um, prior to a couple of months before Christmas. I decided I needed some income to try to get ahead of Christmas and do some Christmas shopping. It didn't quite work out. I think I showed you on one of my earlier first videos print pointing that uh, showing you this. I have $400 worth of lottery tickets. I'm ashamed to say lottery scratchers, different different games, uh, but the total combined calculates to be about 400 and some dollars spent from, I'm going to say 100 days, um, somewhere in October through December, 1st of January. In fact, I've played now uh, up until uh, last week. I bought some more. Um, I sat down and bought some more one day, just trying to uh, increase my income, thinking to myself, okay, now I'm surely must be in the odds. Because if you go to the website, Virginia Lottery website, you'll see what the odds are on every particular game, your odds of winning. So what you're going to see here is $1 scratchers. I have for you, I'm learning how to do this camera, y'all. I got pocket change. I got the 2022 scratcher. These are all $1. And I have um, blackjack. So I'm gonna do a better job at this. Um, the $1 2022 scratcher got some great prizes on it. So I wanted to try that. The pocket change has some large dollar um, prizes remaining. Yeah, so I wanted to try that. Blackjack. This particular blackjack um, game has several a large amount of prizes left, meaning not the, the, the top prize, but um, the midway prizes. Um, I think it was like $500 prizes, several of them left. Um, so I wanted to try it. Um, and then the last game, these are all $1 games, um, Top 7s, which was a fairly, Hot 7s rather, which is a fairly new game. I think it started at the beginning of the year or midway through Christmas. And again, um, several great, uh, I don't think any of the 1,777 are left, but I think there's some other great top prizes that were left that made me interested in trying to, to win this game. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to kind of be a little bit all over the place tonight with it, but I want to tell you as much as I can. So, I bought these games because the odds are 1 in 4.8 and 1 in 4.7 in those ranges uh, because they are the one dollar ticket, so you, they sell more of them, so the odds are higher. If you'll notice here, in the 2022, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I bought 5. I won not one single top prize. I think on one of these, I won a dollar and was able to recoup and get another scratcher to make it the five. But I did not win any top prizes. These are all duds. <laughs> and so I wanted you to see that. So, again, um, and for a fact, this is the one that I wanted to get one dollar on. I, I scratched it. It has a seven as the winning number, and there was a seven located there, and I won a dollar. And was able to recoup it at the machine and get the one dollar so that I could buy another scratcher. Hoping to beat the odds and um, get uh, something large, some type of large prize, so that I could receive, see a return on my investment into lottery scratchers. But again, that did not happen. Pocket change. Um, 
cute gang. Again, this one, 2022, you got a winning number and then you just have to match one of the winning numbers uh, to your winning number and then you will win the prize under it. Again, odds of one in approximately five. Every one in five should be a, a winner based on what the website says. Um, there's several top prizes, not top prizes, but mid-range top prizes still left. Pocket change, a lot of mid prizes left. When I say a lot, it's like um, on the website, it shows where it's like 1,500 prizes and 2,000, 3,000, 5,000 prizes left in the mid ranges on these games. And that's why I chose these, specifically the blackjack, the pocket change, and the 2022. Pocket change, your change needs to add up. You need to reveal all of the change, scratch all of the, of the uh, spots. And if your change amount in these section adds up to a dollar in change, if your section adds up to a dollar on the coins, all the coins together add up to one dollar, you win the prize located in the box. These are all duds. I did not win odds of, and I hope y'all can see this because I really hate my camera. I got to get a camera. Y'all stay with my page and form the transform so I can get one. <laughs> um, but uh, these are all does I did not win. And again, those odds were like 1 and 4.5. I have 6 here. I have 6. Where I just sat there and played 6 of them at, you know, $1 each and did not win. If you'll notice, these games have an extra extra chance where you can scratch off a code and scan that code in the lottery app or on the lottery website if you have an account for a chance to win second chance prizes. Uh, so keep that in mind. Don't throw them away. You have a chance to win second chance prizes if you can get a Virginia account and live in the state of Virginia and open up yourself a, a Virginia lottery account. Okay, and next was Blackjack. I have four of those. These are not eligible for the second chance or don't have an extra chance, but these have some great prizes remaining. You have to beat the dealer's hand. That's how this game is played. The dealer's hand is scratched first. You need to beat the dealer's hand, of course, with 21, 21 Blackjack, or just beat the dealer's hand. So if the dealer's hand is 14 and you scratch a 16 or 18 or 15 you win the prize so great game and this one is one you want to seek after because this has a the most uh prizes remaining including some top prizes i believe if i'm not mistaken odds of this one is one in 4.5 i bought four of these so i'm missing one no i bought five i bought five but I did not win a top prize, which is strange to me. I'm, I'm I was checking for those odds. About five. I have five, but I did not win a top prize. Okay. Last but not least is the Hot Sevens. It has an extra. I've never played it. I don't have an account, but if you could open an account with Virginia and you play it, then you should behoove yourself to play the extra chance for a second chance to win a prize. Because it's less odds of people doing this extra chance, so it's more odds of you winning an extra chance prize. And they they send devices like electronics, they might do gift cards, they may do a money prize. Uh, you check out the uh, Virginia Lottery to, and open an account and find out what the extra chance prizes are. On this one, I bought four lottery tickets. All does. Again, I did not beat the odds on this one because I did not get the fifth one. But even when I've gotten the fifth one on some, I did not win a prize. So the odds are not just sitting there buying straight five off one book because the odds say one in four and a half or one in 4.8. It's collectively or cumulatively beating the odds with everyone that's playing. So, it would be nice if it was guaranteed that one in five on every roll is a winner. Woo, wouldn't that be nice? 
I wish Virginia Lottery would look into that. <laughs> I actually wish Virginia Lottery would look at look into look into creating a game where they guarantee one person in every county is going to win a million dollars once a year or something like that. Because they they make enough money to do do that. That's a lot of stories with a lot of scratchers. There's a lot of lottery dying throughout the state. And I wonder if they they have done their homework in, lately to double check these odds that they print because there's a lot of stores in a square footage of miles. And that means there's a lot of tickets. I mean, when you think about the whole state, you know, sometimes you you can't even imagine, you know, it's the or every store in the whole state is playing the, selling these same tickets. So, you know, are the odds really the odds? So again, um, uh, verdict is still out. I'm not sure where I stand anymore on this <clears throat> because there was a time I didn't believe in this and I definitely wouldn't have condoned talking about it. But I did do it because I found myself, you know, without work and not working and needing some income. And I thought maybe, you know, maybe, maybe the good Lord is going to bless me this way. And I don't want to rule it out. I want to walk by faith and not by sight. And so let me try. But for me, I must have some type of addictive personality because I ended up doing in scratchers, not at once, but in a hundred plus day period, probably, I would say 120 days now, including January, 120, 130 days, um, 400 and some dollars in scratchers. And that's money I could have given in tithes or should have given in tithes. And um, so just be careful. This This is not for... I want to say it's not for that niche where you need to find something or need the money, but I can't say that because I don't know who God may bless and how God may bless someone. Um, I've been blessed sometimes uh, through others who, you know, I've just been blessed. So, I, I mean, I'm still alive, so I'm just going to be thankful and I'm still above water, so I'm going to be thankful. So I won't say what he won't do because I'm not God, but I'll say, you know, if you're a budgeting person, don't get addicted to this. Do everything in moderation. You know, I'm not, con you know, no specific religion. I'm just saying common sense. You know, don't spend your bill money. Don't play above your means. You know, and be led by the spirit. If the spirit don't tell you to do it, don't do it. Or your intuition don't tell you to do it, don't do it. All right, y'all have a great night. I'll get back with you on more details. Um, hopefully this will get better. I don't know if I'll keep doing this genre of information, but hopefully it'll get better. So have a great night. God bless. Bye.